Um, we are having a suggested route for our virtual runners in case um, people needed guidance today. So the half marathon started at 7.30 and then we have a suggested um, time frame for the 5Kers to come out from 8 to 10 today. Right. <laughs> and we hope to get back to the, you know, to what we had before where we have the 100 block and, and have the after party, the Peace Jam and, and all that. But this year, just out of precaution for our families, we have a lot of medically fragile families that we serve and we want to just be mindful of that and um, until everybody gets back in school full-time we just decided to keep it virtual and, and hopefully people can still get out in the community and, and enjoy today and, and still recognize that it is Pacing for Pieces always the second Saturday in March and um, and still celebrate our ASD community even if we can't do it face-to-face -face like we used to. Um, we had 305 people register. Um, some of that um, are race teams from our sponsors, our company sponsors, um, and then the others are the individual um, runners. So, yeah. And we actually had people as far away as California, Texas, yep. uh, Virginia, uh, West Virginia. So we were excited to be able to expand that. We were hoping with the virtual option that that's what would happen, is that we would be able to share this with folks that um, can't travel here on a Saturday um, from California and, and join us. So we thought that was really neat that we were mailing out packages um, to people that far away that um, otherwise would not be able to participate. So yeah. We have absolutely no idea. We were just laughing about that, how normally yeah. um, I don't even see Amy until about 11 a.m. because she's on one side doing the race yep. and I'm on the other block um, getting ready for the party. Um, in the past, you know, we were used to 1,500 people on the block by 11 a.m. So, um, you know, we have no idea. We could have five. We could have 500. We don't. We we don't know. We just had to be. We had to be mindful and, and socially, you know, safely, socially distance, and and we'll we'll find out here yep. in a little bit. That's right. <laughs> and as the posts come in, we have we have encouraged people to post as they're running. Yes. So um, whether they're here um, at the rail trail or are in their own neighborhoods or in Texas or California, yep. to, to please post and let us know. Um, and they also get to log in on our um, race registration site there's an app where you log in when you start and you log out when you when you finish yep. so you still get a time it's just not an official time yep. 